Hello everybody, it's Velish from Lazarus Gaming and we are playing Industries of Titan uh, continuing on from the tutorial that we got partway through in the last video. Um, I will say already that I have reset the game I previously recorded the video and realized that um, I had loads of swearing in it because it frustrated me heaps and I had um, really poor video quality because for some reason OBS reset some of the settings. Um, Can be improved, Founder. Don't you agree? Revenue, employment contracts, buildings as well. Almost all of your buildings can be upgraded. Upgrading a building okay, so we need to upgrade a building. Yep, yeah, so I've rolled back the game to um, to where we were at the end of the last episode. So um, I could have pretended like I'd done nothing, but I thought I'd own up to my mistakes and, and let you guys know what I'd done. Um, so <laughs> we're going to start again on this one. Um, super annoying, um, but what are you going to do? Um, so we will start pushing forwards with this now. Um, so we need to upgrade a building. Um, so we're going to upgrade this one. Uh, just push this one through. It's just unpause this game. What I did learn from the previous um, mistake was that I didn't have enough storage units. So we're going to build a load of storage units because apparently they're quite important and nothing works if you don't have storage. And I didn't have enough energy. The electricity kept running out on me. So in this factory, I'm going to build a, um, when it's finished upgrading, I'm going to build um, quite a few storage units and energy um, units as well, uh, the energy generators. And what I want to do is get across to this unit here. I think that's isotope mine or something. So that will be cool if we can unload that. I haven't. I didn't even get to that in the last game. Last game, I had the quest where I had to get a command center, and an hour and a half into the video, I was still not at that point. And it's literally the next quest after, not this one, the one after this next one. Um, so, it's yeah. The last video was an absolute disaster. So, um, and I, I was tempted to put it up just so you could have a laugh at my frustration, but um, the quality on it on the actual video. Um, like the resolution on the video was really poor all the um, like the words like headquarters and stuff like that was really blocky and pixely and you couldn't really tell what it was for some reason it dropped the quality on the recording so uh, randomly um, so we're gonna play this what I learned as well is that we play this on super fast mode um, because Otherwise, this video will again be another hour and a half, um, and we don't want, nobody wants that. I mean, there's one thing watching a video that's fairly interesting, but then there's another thing watching a video for an hour and a half where you're just seeing somebody, you know, building a world uh, in a slow, slow mo, basically. So, in here, we already have these units, the power units and stuff. Um, we've got but there's no energy in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go straight into building a huge energy generator. Um, we're going to stick that. Um, we're going to actually put this dead center. And then we're going to build batteries um, for it. And we're going to have an industrial outlet. Uh, actually, I don't think I need that because that should cover it. Actually, we're going to dismantle that one because I think I was in the wrong spot and then we're going to put an industrial outlet here and that should link up and kick all the power out into the city as well so this is the first thing i did wrong last time was this and now level two i'm going to build as a storage containment system um, so we're going to have huge amount of storage here we are not going to run out of storage this time I absolutely will not run out of storage. It was so frustrating in the last game um, trying to get um, enough storage space to be able to build anything. Um, it was just beyond annoying. 
So this time we're absolutely going to get this right. So now I think I need a relay. So we'll just wait for the for this and we'll stick it because this floor is going to be mostly electrical. I'm going to um, put in a couple of relays. I don't know how this works exactly. So I might put one large one on each floor, um, but we'll see. It doesn't, um, I don't really see the difference between these. They don't seem to, like it doesn't say whether or not it pushes stuff out faster or um, like this is energy used and energy stored. I'm assuming the stored units uh, the larger units have much better storage uh, but we'll find out in a minute because I'm gonna build one as soon as we get what we're we up to two, two so we need eight oh no six there we go. large energy so we're gonna do this um, here and that will connect that relay there all this will start working and everything will be golden um, so I don't know why this hasn't upgraded. I it did this last time. I upgraded like two buildings and it didn't work. And I had to end up skipping this quest. I thought it was because I took I was impatient. Um, but it's still not upgraded. This one's not completing for some reason. Uh, I suspect it's because I've already upgraded a building. I upgraded the command center last episode. Um, so I think that's why this isn't working. So we'll probably have to skip this quest again um, and just wait for them. They Luckily, you can skip the quest and they'll give you another one afterwards. So we're not gonna lose out. Um, but we are going to claim and salvage all of these here. Um, I do have to be careful with my money at this point because I need to get citizens who will earn me credits. Um, uh, on the last one I built office and um, a living area and earned 10,000 in like five minutes so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, so that's got one red artifact, one red artifact, no artifacts so let's salvage that for 72 minerals that's cool and that's got absolutely nothing look at that absolute trash let's salvage that. Um, Thinking, I want. When I see artifacts, I'm going to take the artifacts out of these two rather than salvage them. I've got 72 minerals there, so that's quite good. Oh, well, there's a storm or something happening. Lightning storm. There's another one of those areas. That looks like it could be this one. Minerals here. That looks like a mineral mine of some sort. You see how it's all shiny and everything? So, and this one looks like an isotope mine. So, I don't know, we'll see how that looks, but um, I'm absolutely loving the music in this game, it is so good, I said this in the other video, I absolutely love, love the music in this video, in this game, it's so Blade Runner. It just makes me think of it. I don't know if it's because it's a space type sim or or what, but it just the game just makes me think. The music just makes me think, especially the music on the loading screen, like on the hold screen, because um, I've had it the game paused at there while I've been sorting out other stuff, and it's it just really is a great like soundtrack. I really like it. So we're gonna claim those. Um, what's that? Fifteen four four one red artifact. What's this one got? Four and two. So let's claim that and salvage and claim that and extract. So walk down to five five one. Okay, we've got money. We're fine. Let's claim that one. Uh, Twenty four four red artifacts. We are definitely gonna claim that. And this one's got nothing, so we'll do that. Okay, so we've got quite an area that we're opening up here now. Um, we're going to buy another one of these little patches of land and get somebody working in it. And what I found out is you can buy people here. And so we are going to buy... Um, 
I wonder if it's because that's connected that it's not. Anyway, it doesn't matter because I skipped the quest. Um, so we're kind of, I, I don't want to skip ahead of the quest lines because I'm sure she's going to make me build a, um, a housing area. And if I've already done the quest, then I don't know if I, I don't know if I get anything for doing the quests. I hope that I would. Um, let's click on this. Give me something to do. I think the next one she wants is connect two buildings. Um, and I've just built a second smokestack for that. But, yeah, so okay, I was about to say, so I don't know what all the people are doing. But they're collecting stuff from here, so that's fine. So, all we've got, we want to um, want to drop repair down. I noticed this before as well. Um, we want to drop that down to like there. I'm not worried about that at the moment. I want to get all the salvage and the resources moved and then construction when I I want construction at the top because they seem to take forever to do construction and um, I don't know if it's because you have it lower than other tasks and everything keeps taking priority but you can see their um, you can see their mining away down here um, and you can't really see Zoom out a bit there. Ah, cup of tea. Yum. Nothing better in the afternoon. A cup Founder, of tea. Have you built there we go. Buildings of the same type connect two buildings another. of the same type and level. As long as they are both the same level, you can connect them in the city view. Connecting buildings gives them an efficiency boost. However, connected buildings are unable to burrow. This makes connected buildings in your city much more vulnerable during rebel attacks. Yeah, so what I need to do now, what I need now is to have the salvage at the top. So let's do this. Just so we can get these two buildings down here. I want to put a smokestack here and then combine these to connect these two buildings together and complete that quest. But I need this building cleared. So I'm not sure where they are at the moment. Um, I think we can pause most of these. Pause. Pause. We did quite a lot. So pause. Yeah. Yeah. And no, that one's already paused. That's good. Okay, so this is the only building left that they can survey and scavenge. So I'm hoping they take it down pretty quickly. as salvage is now the priority job. Kind of move resources down below survey ruins. It's been surveyed because I've already got it and I've claimed it, so I'm just waiting for them to now extract the minerals and stuff from it. While we're waiting for them to do that, let's just pop into here and check out this. So this should now be, yeah, okay, so we've got the line between it, so that's working fine. That's what we want. And this one is it's already storage full. Look at this. So we're going to create another storage unit because that one's full. So we're going to put that there. And another one there. So that's good. I mean, building it clears it out anyway. I wonder if you can upgrade these. No, can't upgrade them. Okay, so that's it. Once they're on that, that's shame you can't upgrade them like another couple of levels or whatever on top of that. It'd be perfect. You'd be able to do, yeah, easy another couple of levels on there. Um, so they built that really quickly, so that's cool. Okay, so we got tons of storage now. I'm really paranoid about running out of storage. Like both of those are full. Basically, I mean those two things are only empty because we built these. So you, 
do run out of space really quickly. And once they run out of space, they just leave everything laying around. But I had a massive deficit with these. Like I had zero minerals and all isotopes, and I couldn't build anything at all. So I couldn't even build more storage because I didn't have any minerals. And because all the storage was full, they wouldn't pick up any minerals from anywhere else. And so I was in this awkward position where I couldn't get anything. I found out you can buy the minerals from the spaceport and they actually go into storage in the spaceport, which is quite good. So I managed to be able to get one small storage built at that point. But yeah, it was a frustrating I must have been on it for like 10 minutes before I found out you could do that. 10, 15 minutes of just cursing myself for skipping ahead of the game um, and causing myself those sort of problems. But live and learn and that makes this video quicker and more interesting because I've already gone through that garbage. And you still get to laugh at me because I've told you all about it. So yeah, there you go. Um, so we're still waiting for these buildings to come down. Let's pause it and resume it and hopefully they come out and grab. I don't know what these people are doing. Um, let's just take this guy off here for a minute. Okay, hopefully he'll now start working on this. The <clears throat> the thing I noticed with the last game as well as the last time I was playing it, the, you get these temp jobs. I don't know what they're like. He's cleaning up waste. I, I don't know how far down I... Oh, extract ruins. That's probably why, actually. That's probably an extraction. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's why. Okay, so clean up waste can go away down the bottom for now. Actually, we'll put dismantle. There we go. Okay, there we go. Right, now we can go into construction. Let's put that up there and let's put move resources back up there. Actually, move resources. Yeah, we'll leave that there. So now we're going to build here another smokestack. Like so. And then when that's completed, we're going to... It's got a huge pollution radius. Um, once that's completed, we're going to join them and hopefully that will complete that quest. I was saying as well, I like the construction method on here. Like you see the scaffolding go up and then the cranes going over the top and like you see it actually like, it's really cool. Uh, I really like it. So, why can't I do this? Uh, combines two adjacent... Ah, oh, no, that's not... Oh, what an idiot. Oh, let's dismantle that. Demolition, up top. Come on, dismantle. Okay, good. I meant to put it here, obviously, next to the other smokestack. That was a wasteful, wasteful thing to do. I don't know if you get all of your materials back. Seven minerals. I don't think so. No. I got seven minerals out. Luckily it's only one isotope and ten minerals. If it was more than that, that would have been gutting. This is what I was saying about the construction process. I really like that. Uh, you could easily see in the future this is how, maybe not this quickly, but this is how the building would be done. You know, a self building crane is already a thing. So, you know, you have one guy or, you know, just a handful of guys on a building site and they build a whole factory or whatever. Be amazing. So let's connect these two buildings. And our one little dude here, who I think is the worker for the smokestacks, he'll do both. I'm not going to put two employees in here, it's wasteful. There we go. And I don't think I'll probably need much in the way of. Uh, but you can see you can assign a second employee to that still, if need be. 
Um, it will give you this warning saying you don't have enough people working in there, like partial employees. But we're not worried about that. And that quest completed. So there we go. Okay. So now I need to stay on top. The only thing I haven't worked out is how to figure out what your energy draw is compared to um, what your production of energy is. So I don't know if there's like a report or something about that, but um, so that's my command area as well. So the next quest I think is the command increased command area and I was trying to this is what I was trying to work out last time is where I'm supposed to be able to build this command area and I worked out you need power near it to be able to build it so I'm going to build another power pylon energy pylon and it has to connect with stuff so I need that to be This one's probably going to have to go there, so obviously I'm going to have to take this ruin down and claim it. And then once I've got one there, I'll need to build another one probably here, because I don't think that will reach quite to this point here, which is where I want to get to. Okay, so survey's complete. Um and oh, three red artifacts nice let's claim those artifacts so get rid of that and then we'll put the pile on there ready for the next quest again luckily i already know what the next quest is um so i'm at an advantage here but you see the lines connecting i don't know why i keep doing that i keep pointing at the screen when i say see the lines or see something um, so the line's joining up those pylons now. That if I move slightly out, it will drop from this one because it's not touching that um, area. So we need to be in that area there. That's it. And then the next one, how oh, far we go? Yeah. So you see, if we hit, we can't get the connection. But if we're here, we get the connection. So that will be the next one. So let's, uh, but we're outside our command area still. Uh, so I think our command area is going to be, we have to actually buy it as well. Um, uh, luckily we've got that, so that's fine. So let's buy the command area. Why well, have we got a load of money? We should buy a few of these things. Um, let's buy the residential. Okay, now we're out of money. Uh, so we'll wait for a while now. So we'll build a residential spot. I just want to see what the next quests are because I don't want to jump ahead of the quest too much because it keeps failing on the um, when you do that. So we'll let it go. Um, so that pylon's complete now. So we should have an energy flow coming through. Nice, like that. Um, and our thing here should be producing energy. This should be producing energy for the rest of the city because I've got those two huge generators in there with relays and industrial outlets. Um, so, and then on floor two, I've got oh, yeah, that's right, I made this all storage. Um, so, we're doing good for storage, we've still got plenty there, so that's fine. Uh, we won't bother building another one yet. Uh, as long as I don't run out of resources, I'm not too worried about the storage. It's only when I start getting low on this that I'm going to need to worry about storage um, because I won't be able to build any more storage. And if it fills up with one thing of a certain type, I'm going to be screwed. Um, so just wait for our next quest. I think the next quest should be the command center. So we'll just wait for that to show up now. Actually, we might unpause these. We'll get these done while we're waiting. So we clear out, you know, this whole area. And that one. Uh, All is right, that it? Founder. We're there beginning we to reach the limits of our territory and vision. 
To cut through the smog and see further, we need a command center. The command center will extend our vision range and expand the territory we can claim from the council. Once we build it, though, we better make sure it stays standing. If we lose our command center, faraway buildings will no longer be under our control. Build a command center now. Let's claim some more land. So it sounds like if you get attacked by one of these rebels camps and they destroy the command center, you lose sight of all of the area that command center's in. So um yeah i think you have to be careful i think you have to defend them and because i saw in military there are like ground turrets and stuff that you can use as so, some example um so what we're going to do is military so command center so we can build there Looks like we can't build much further away. Let's go to our command area. Yeah, so it looks like we have to be in our command area to be able to build in the command area. And because I want to get to these mine areas here and here that I can actually see. I'm assuming that's something as well. I don't know what though. Um, I'll probably put a command area here. No, won't let me build there either. Uh, let me build there. So this is the issue I had last time. I couldn't find how to build anything. I thought it was to do with power, but I must be wrong. I don't know what it needs. A local radar tower for expanding territory and vision. Cannot connect. Needs 20 minerals and two isotopes, or plenty of materials. So I don't understand what the hell it wants me to do. Um, this is the same issue I had last time. Ah, but I can build there. That's so random. Why can't I build there, but I can build here? Let's cancel that. I wonder if these light blue points are where... Oh, hang on. Am I trying to buy somewhere I haven't bought? That's why. Ah, there we go. Now I should be able to build the... Yeah, it has to be... Okay, that's right. I couldn't build that because I hadn't bought it. But I couldn't see that because I had the wrong overlay on. Okay, cool. So I want the territory overlay on. So I can see what I bought. There we go. Alright. So that's better. So... I mean, in theory, oh no, I can't do here because I need this to be active now. Yeah, and that will allow me to actually go into this area. So that's not bad. We're, we're just going to be symmetrical for this council hall. I wonder how much of this area will open up. Hopefully it's a fairly large area. No, done. One second, done. There we go. Okay, so it's not a very large area at all, and but we do have a node. An infinite source of isotopes. Build a mine to harvest its contents. Okay, brilliant. So these are mines, I was right. That will be a mine as well. Um, what's this error? Draining batteries. Okay, so you see we have straight away it's starting to drain batteries, which means that there's not enough power coming to it. Um, which I find I'm gonna call bullshit on that um, because reasons something there and I think there might just be a huge hole that you can't do anything with 
Um, so that start opening up some of our area. We'll start surveying it. Uh, that one. Let's get it in line with this so we can clear out all these buildings in one go. And that one. Okay. Um, Alright, so that's draining the batteries at the moment. You can't enter this, so all it does is expand your territory, your, your visible area in your territory, um, and allow you to buy more more things. Um, so we'll probably put another command here, which will open up that section. So, one, two, so it opens up three squares from it. So one, two, three, and oh, I did four. Oh no, four. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it creates a it actually creates a one, two, three, four, five. So five by five square with these two little connector I call them like connecting points on them. Uh, so I think a good idea would be to build these every point, like every connecting point. So, one, two, three, four, five. But here on this I'm going to, because I already own all this, so I'll probably put one here, which will push one, two, three, just maybe get to that ruin. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it should just hit that ruin just about. Uh, not ruined, sorry, that mine. So, okay. But we're going to need more power, apparently. So, let's build another power unit. We're also going to need fuel. So, let's go to level 2 and build a fuel fabricator over this side. A large fuel fabricator and then we'll get a couple of large fuel tanks and then we'll go back down to level one and we will build more batteries one two three four five that should be enough and we might put another power generator over here as well um, I guess you can never have enough energy generators. Sod it, let's just do it. That's, luckily that's just tapping on there, which is quite nice. So. Um, and then we'll just stick two huge batteries there and there, just to fill up that, make it square, because we do like things to be neat and tidy. And our storage is looking good, but we might build Um, we might build one more. I don't know if you have to leave a gap here because they look like they have to be able to get to the things they need to use. So when you're around the edge it's fine but I think when you fill it up internally they can't get stuff so I don't know if that is a problem or not. I'd rather not take a risk so I'm just going to leave a gap between like as a walkway for them to use uh, for most of these things. So what we're going to also need is, uh, no, I'm going to build an actual house outside shortly. So we've built our command unit. Oh, okay. still out there, making their plans, regrouping. They have us in their sights. If we don't take them out, they'll just keep attacking us. If we expand our territory and spread our vision, we can find out where they're hiding. Remember, we can use command centers to extend our range of vision. Okay, so I need to start pushing command centers out further and further so I can find one of these rebel camps. Um, I'm going to push sort of up the map, I think. So, as I need to get to both these points here anyway. Um, so let's build another command center. Let's have a look at our 
Great, so I said I was going to build one hit every on all these points. Cannot build here because I haven't bought it. So let's claim that area and let's stick another command point there. Hopefully the camp isn't too far away, um, but hopefully it's not too close either. I don't want to be constantly getting murdered. Um, so we might buy that just so we've got it and we can build it if we need to. And we don't have to worry about money running out on us or anything like that. Um, oh, they're still building stuff in the factory. Okay. Um, so these have energy storage, and it's got zero of 2,000. That's got zero of 2,000, and that's got zero of 2,000. So I think that's bad. <laughs> I think. Uh, I'm assuming it's bad, but uh, it might just be the fact that I've just built a ton of new batteries and so these are actually you know these batteries are filling up so obviously I'm not using as much um, storage as written as is needed like this one here is filling up as well so Maybe once these batteries are full, the storage outside starts filling up as well. Um, I'll just keep an eye on that and see as we go along. I've got plenty of batteries and stuff, though, so I don't think I'm going to run out of power. Um, oh, okay, but I do need to build another pylon. It would be good if you, when you upgraded these, it actually range increased on it. If I upgrade this one, <clears throat> actually, let's check out some of these buildings and see what we can salvage. Yep, let's claim that and salvage it. Yep, let's claim that and salvage. It's only got eight though, it's a bunch, but it doesn't matter. Too. I notice the ones that have artifacts always have a huge amount of minerals in them as well compared to the ones that don't have artifacts and it's generally uh, just proved me wrong there total made me into a liar um, generally let's generalize it um, it seems to be like it's tempting you with the choice of do you want to waste loads of minerals or do you want an artifact or do you want to waste an artifact? So what's this one doing? Yes. Extracting. Okay. So let's check out what our population is doing. We're dismantling. Uh, we put that at the top. It's such a once-off thing that you don't really have anybody needing to do. Well, move resources. So let's go and extract so we get these. Uh, Everything I've set to extract is extract now and salvage as well. And what we'll do is, I was hoping she would give us a residential building um, request, but she hasn't. So, um, I don't know. Let's have a look. How many people can I house at the moment? I'm not too sure. So you can donate stuff here to get, this is quite good, where you can, if you're running out of something, I've only just noticed this, I didn't see this in the previous game, otherwise I would have used it. Um, you can request something you're running out of and use your influence um, to buy it, so minus 10 influence for those. Uh, isotopes are obviously way more in demand than anything else. Um, but then on the reverse as well, you can actually donate stuff and get your influence back up as well. So that's good for later on if um, you know you need to use your influence to get something, but you can't. All you right, can fellas, basically trade it out. To take the oh, here fight we go. To the rebels. We can take control of their territory and disable their base of operations. To do this, expand not our territory sure. until it overlaps the rebel encampment. Where the when our territory is. covers theirs, those rebels will flee and stop attacking us from that location. 
Then we roll in and occupy their facilities. Their infrastructure will be ours to control. That sounds good. I don't know how to get there though. I don't know where if they've if there's a there must be a camp here maybe. Um so let's get power up to that unit. Okay, so I need to I'm going to need to I think that building there actually I can do that so I want that building there which I can't survey because I don't have anything there oh that's one building out <clears throat> let's survey these see which one's empty and we'll just take the resources or whatever and knock the land down I was hoping that I could get there that would have been awesome but not a problem so we should have surveyors a high I don't know let's put that all the way up just because I want these done straight away I want to be able to knock one down and then get a pylon up here to this command center just so we can see what we've got going on and we haven't been attacked by any bandits or anything yet or rebels rather so I'm not sure um, excellent salvage that one salvage that and extract that um, so I'm not sure if now we find these rebels they're just going to constantly attack us until we kill them off and I don't have anything to kill them off with so I'm hoping that they just leave us alone and we leave them alone even if we find them at this point because I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to attack them the only thing I've got is this defensive turret which obviously isn't an attack thing I think she just said though if our range of influence goes into their camp area they'll move base which seems weird but we'll have a look so we're gonna build one of these shortly um, which allows us to get a huge amount of money from your lazy citizens um, anybody who's idle goes in there and starts earning you a fortune so you get like five five credits every second um, so that's fair like I say earlier on on the messed up game I did I earned 10,000 in less than five minutes I think well it's hard to tell because that was a long video and it didn't feel like a long video so we're gonna need this as well um, so let's actually buy that now while we've got money because we want to dump it here strange that it doesn't let you ah, so you have to select a slot near it not actually on it so like there oh I can build already sweet so that'd be great for that we'll get a ton of isotopes from there we may as well buy that and clear that land out though because um, they've already emptied this and they've emptied that one and that one's almost gone but we can put that guy there we may as well empty these out because we've got that mine now and that mine's an infinite source of isotopes so these don't matter at all but we're going to need power up to this building so we're going to need to get that power unit here really wish I could hit that but I can't I cannot build here why? do I have to buy it? no, I already claimed it the fact that it's got storage units on it maybe so let's get resource collection Ooh, all the way up to the top and I suspect we're gonna be running low on storage so let's just double check our storage unit <clears throat> yep that's right we are starting to I don't know we're, we're not too bad we've got like one we got two of these empty, um, so that's not bad. 
but we might be getting to the point where we want to put another one in um, so let's just do that we're about to collect a lot of resources some of those buildings had huge amounts so Founder, if we can't keep yeah. these rebels off our backs we yeah, do but we're not have being a attacked. last defensive option That's most not... of our buildings were built with the ability to burrow yeah, underground burrowing. This will avoid damage from incoming fire. It can save us in a pinch. But burrowing's not cheap. It costs credits to activate. Not all buildings can burrow either. Defensive structures and all connected buildings must remain above ground. I don't know why you would need to have connected buildings stay above ground. They're connected. You just drop them both down. It seems weird that that would be the case, but what do I know? I'm just some pleb that plays games. So I really want these areas to be cleared out. They're still mucking around down here. Um, let's actually take that guy off there for a second. Because I think he's mining that. And take that one off there. And hopefully they all start going here and start clearing out these two spots. If that's I can't I can't pause collection on this area, so I think I have to wait for the thirty-eight isotopes to be collected. I mean, I don't even think they're collecting stuff. The isotope figure is not going down at all. So I'll be f ah, I think they're collecting off this one, minerals. Yeah, okay, they're collecting that one. That's freaking annoying. Alright. So, the game's actually on full speed as well. So. Come on. Happy little campers, let's get this moving on a bit. I wonder if we can buy some more people. Damn it, just missed that one. We can get two more there, so I'll get that. I've only got one living space now. So I'm assuming either I've just gone one person over my limit or I've got one available with those two there. So if one of these just has one person on it, we'll know. Two, not enough living space. Okay, so we've definitely only got one available space, if anything. Oh, what have we got going on here? Partial employees, that's fine. Yeah, okay. So look. Okay, so I think they collected. No, no. I don't know what they're collecting now. Oh, they are doing these. Okay, they're doing these ones here. Great. Hopefully, it's this one. Yep, it is. Brilliant. So we'll be able to put the power unit in there as soon as they are done collecting. And that will power the mine, which will get us unlimited isotopes, which is great. Um, and then we can stick our command center here. Oh no, uh, power up that command center as well. What is that command center? Not power going into it then. The mine's got the little line going to it, but the command center doesn't. Am I going to need to? That's weird. I wonder why that is. Oh, mind you, in saying that, that one doesn't use any either. Did these not use power? Energy status, 4 of 4 online. So obviously they use power. Hang on, 
Let's find a building. Uh, it doesn't use power, does it? Uh, let's have a look. Okay, it doesn't say. Hmm. It must use power because it's got no energy. I'm assuming this just needs to be close to it. Well, we've got eight more ways to collect, and then we can get this here and see what's going on. Hopefully, hopefully we don't come across a rebel camp at this point because we've got no defenses. Founder, it's time oh. for us to pursue a campaign of rebel Man, she extermination. Is bloodthirsty. There are several rebel encampments nearby. We can crush them all. All of them. Okay. Explore the remaining territory in this sector. When we find rebels, send them packing. Send them packing. The council Absolutely. will be grateful. Nothing makes them happier than a rebel running scared. Good. Good to know. That's thirsty. Ah. End of the tutorial. There we go. So now we get to free play the whole game. Okay, cool. So that's quite good. So all I want to do is get this bloody pylon up and running. I need these idiots to collect this waste. Ah, you know why they're not collecting that waste? Because I put the waste collection all the way at the bottom. So let's push that up. There's 11 jobs to do. So hopefully all of these people move back into those jobs there. I mean, that's only got three anyway, so... I'm assuming there's waste in the buildings and stuff, which is not visible at this point. But waste should go here, yeah, to the smokestack. So that's cool, okay. So hopefully they get onto these ones fairly quickly. I mean, it's only four and eight. There's only eight jobs left. So it should be quick smart. That guy looks like he was gonna go. No, he's not, no. Is that one? No, he's not gonna go. Okay. Something's generating waste though because these guys are, aren't making any progress here. They're actually staying static at eight jobs. Oh, there we go, seven. And they're kind of almost making progress, but not. No, no, they're definitely not. It's gone on to ten. Um, I wonder what's generating all that waste. It might be the factory. If I disable the factory briefly, they'll go up and grab these. But the factory's got all my electrical in it, so if I disable the factory, I'm going to lose all my electrical stuff. Hmm. I'll find a building I can burrow. Don't know if I can burrow the spaceport. Let's still look no. Oh, what is generating so much waste? Just go into here and just disable what would be creating waste. the empty floor. I wonder what we should put here. Let's put... Let's put nothing here yet. Let's find out where this waste is going first. We don't want to create something else that's going to add more waste and not get this bloody area cleared out. Four and eight. I still haven't cleared it. I'm just going to shut this factory down for a second.
I just want to see if they go and get the waste. Ah, oh, they're collecting from here. They are going the most roundabout way as well. Okay, let's have a look. So, yeah, okay, cool. So, clean up waste is down to four. We've got none. Okay, cool. So, now they should start here. Yep, yeah, it looks like he's going for it. He's going for it. Sweet. Okay, let's start the factory up again. All right. So, there's seven left there. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully that factory is not going to start producing tons of waste and they move to that as a priority. Even if one just keeps going up and grabbing stuff from there, that would be good. Yeah, cool, there he goes. Ah, cool, three of them. Okay, yeah, cool, that's good, okay. So, it should be one, zero, there we go, power, power pylon. Build. Uh, let's move construction up to the top. We want that done straight away, please. We've got no repair jobs to do, so that's fine. But we should probably move that up a bit. So this is great. Once that energizes up, we should see the rest of this area here, up to about here, I think, where the mouse is. One, two, three, four, eight, a bit further maybe. Yeah, right here. And that mine should come online. And we're definitely going to want that. So there's 14. <clears throat> We've got tons of minerals, so I don't know why they're not taking stuff to it. Oh, because I blocked construction. So I think they're actually doing the mine first. They are. Okay, so we want to pause that because there's no power anyway, so we need the pylon up and running first. Okay, it's only 10 and 1, so it should be quick. I feel they ignore you. I just told them not to do any more on there, and they're still delivering stuff to it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Sweet. Okay, let's resume that. Right, our energy pylon is done. There we go. And there's no rebel camp. Okay, not a problem. I'm sure there'll be one up here somewhere. But our next spot we're going to work towards is this mine over here. So we consolidate both mines. And then we can start working on finding rebel camps and building massive defensive guns and things like that. One thing I have noticed on here is there's no research to do. Like, you don't really research anything that I can see. Um, the stuff that you have is already there available. You just have to have the money to buy it. Um, oh, there's an energy plant. See, that would be quite useful, having an energy plant. Um, okay, so we're free playing now, so I can build anything I want. So I can build my residential zone here and my office here like I did last time. And then once I get that, I'll get more people come in, live there, and earn me a fortune of money, and that'll be cool. Um, and then I'll convert a couple more people into employees um, and also generate more, let's stick in another power grid while we're at it. Um, so energy generator, large energy generator, medium batteries and a fuel fabricator. Um, let's put the fuel fabricator. Let's see, let's put it there. And we'll stick a little tank there, and a little tank there. 
um, I'll let that run out. That's fine. I mean, these batteries are still empty, so obviously we need more fuel because they should be full. Um, uh, sorry, more energy. What have we got going on up here? So we've got a fuel fabricator up here as well, and it is filling up everything nicely. So let's get another fuel tank. Um, let's dump two more fuel tanks there and put small fuel tanks on either side, like so. And our storage is looking good. We've got probably two empty, two and a half empty. Oh, there's half of that one, half of that one, that's one, that's two, and that's three. So we've got three empty here, that's good. Plenty of room, loads of available space. Return to our city. So our command center is up and running there, that's nice. There's something wrong with this, no employees. Okay, so we need some more employees. So let's get, I prefer to have employees with some resources. Let's see what these two drop. Uh, zero, no, we don't want that. Not enough living space for 14 people, Jesus. Relax, we've got seven spots available. Give me, no, ten, these two. Ah. ah, see, so we got one person working in here now, so that gives us um, one credit generate per second, but we also have in here, at credit as well so we're actually earning two now um, I could ditch this destroy this station um, but it's probably not a good idea I could just disable it and let him go and work in the other place though um, and that will save me one energy I'm already using energy for the building outside so it makes sense to have you know wait till this is full So what we might do is now we've got this up and running this far. Let's just see what we've got here. Four people. Um, you know what? Let's buy them. So we've got three places left. Uh, let's just see what this Mars delivery has on it. An old junkyard hauler. That sounds like it's not going to have anybody on it. The largest of its class, MSS Freya. I think this one is the one that you get a lot of people coming on. People and resources. Uh, the Earth cruise ship one. Uh, let's just see what Freya brings. Minerals and one person. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. That leaves us two spots free, so that's good enough. Um, all right, so let's leave. Actually, let's create a human uh, citizen, whatever they're called, a person that does stuff. So let's do that. And let's add, let's get two. There we go. So that's max out our employee status. We can't get any more employees at this point until we, um, until we build more of these conversion captions, I think. I don't know why, because it only takes one capsule and one person. And then once the person's converted, I don't know why you need to use it anymore. Unless it's these I need, habitat pods. Ah, oh, no, I think it might be these habitat pods that I need. These are for the employees. I don't know. Living space for two citizens. No, so that can't be right. Mm. Train citizens into forever obedient, low wage employees. I don't know if they have to keep coming back to this or not, but I've noticed before, like, I can't convert anymore now. Cannot support more employees, build more conversion capsules. So you do need to build more conversion capsules. Um, but we're going to leave that where it is for now. Ah, but what we can do... Uh, 
is burrow. Ah, so you click burrow and every building that is able to burrow will burrow. For a period of time by the looks of it. Temporarily hiding buildings underground. Okay, so... And then you can unburrow manually if you want to. Um, and then they reappear. Okay, that makes loads of sense. I thought you had to do it per building. And I was like, God, if you get attacked, you have to like manually go around each building to, um, to hide them. That'd be a right nuisance. So these are all draining my batteries now. So obviously I'm not building enough, producing enough energy at this point. Um, so we may need to increase that on the next game. Uh, so I'm going to leave that one there. That was a much, much more successfully done session um if you like what you see let me know uh, in the comments anything you would give me advice on on producing these videos and making them better for you if you want to see any type of um games or certain types of gameplay let me know um if you like the content click like and subscribe uh to be made aware of when we do more uh thanks guys take care see you soon